My name is Mr. Johnston. This is a Rockstar Math production. Okay, our activity today is going to be the Xenobolus Challenge, and this is kind of a, a culminating assessment of students' problem-solving skills uh, that we've really looked at our first uh, unit of the school year. And problem-solving strategies really need to be taught explicitly. That the research that I read on them is that you can't just pay them lip service. You need to like teach them and then give kids immediate chance to practice them on their own. And so we've been doing that through a series of warm-ups this year. And today what we're going to be doing is uh, working on this group project called the Xenobolus that really helps demonstrate and have kids practice these and show these in actions. So there will be, uh, for example, students will be able to identify relationships, uh, being able to distinguish relevant from irrelevant information. Uh, they'll use a variety of strategies such as words, numbers, symbols, and they'll do a good job in driving the solution. And they'll all use these different packets just to kind of help organize their work. And, and there's just a few bullet points here to help them in the thinking process as they flush out an answer. Uh, the Xenobolus is actually a, a challenge wherein the students are given this information through a series of cards that each of them has that no one else can see. So one student will get this card, one student will get this one, and one student will get this one, and so on and so forth. Uh, this actually has been used in a number of different formats, but I think it's really good for problem solving skills in math. And uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, as a small group uh, talking about the sharing information, practicing these strategies, and in the end, see if students can figure out on what day of the week that the famous Zen obelisk was finished. The days are not. Oh my gosh, this is so important. Really, one game is working on the construction of the city. Oh, there is a gang of nine people. That's what it's really. One gang of nine people. I want to go. One gang of nine people. The length of the city is 50 feet. The height is 100 feet. Yeah. Uh, so it something like a lot. Next one. Um, green. Uh, Oh, that means Monday to Friday, no Sunday or Saturday. Yeah, Sunday there's no Friday to Sunday. Yeah, Sunday it is. So that means they want Monday. Also, we should say they didn't start on Sunday. It's so, so. It's until day of the But then there's still only five days in the week. No, but they can delete different days. They can do Sunday to Friday, Thursday, and Friday and Saturday. No, but they're like, day one is like Monday. So, so that is like... Because? Because. What's your rationale? How is it supported? Uh, it's not really supported. Okay. So that's just what you think so far? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, we think it's Neptune minus day, which is day two. Um, because if 150 blocks were um, put up per slip, and the workers work at nine slips per day, then 3,650 blocks were already laid out by the end. And then um, the volume of the statue is 5,000 cubic feet. And one block is cubic foot, which means there's 5,000 blocks in the whole entire statue. So we're thinking that on Neptune Minus Day, um, they will be finished and have some left over time. We finished on day one aqua day because we found out the volume of the is 50,000 feet. 
and one block is one cubic foot. So there's going to be 50,000 blocks in the zin. <laughs> you, 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 you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I think I personally think mermaid day because um to me um they ended at day four because you know five hundred thousand to five hundred twenty thousand four hundred is basically four so I guess day four is when they end because you know they only work not on day five so they only work so four days and then later somehow end up seven days because you end up with day three so yeah mermaid day and also it's green. So, Mermaid Day is when they made it green, so, yeah. Anything else to add, guys? Me. Yeah? Seven. Because the, uh, in one of our clues, it says that green blocks are important or special or something on Mermaid Day. And Mermaid Day is day four. So, if the statue is green, they only work on day four. Interesting. Uh, we think it's Neptune Minus Day because, uh, because uh, there are 14 days within two weeks. So um, we get because there are five days in, in one Atlantic week, and um, so but they they have one day break, so it's four. We get the four of those, and we just times it by three, which equals twelve. Then we plus two, so um, we get Neptunus day by two, like within there. If you can see the targets missing here, so that's what bad at talking about. <laughs>